In this video, you're going to learn five tips that will help you edit at least five times faster in whichever video editing program you're using. And we're starting with the first one, shortcuts. Now I've already made two videos about my favorite shortcuts that I use in Premiere Pro all the time for a very good reason. They help you edit a lot faster. You can learn these shortcuts as you go, you can look them up or you can get a helpful tool like an editing keyboard. When I edit on my PC, I use this keyboard right here. As you can see, it has all of the shortcuts on there. It is a great cheat sheet if you forget something or if you want to learn shortcuts. There's also keyboard shortcut covers if you have a laptop, for example. So definitely look into it if you want to speed up the learning process. If you want, you can even customize your shortcuts by remapping them. And I did this when I got my MacBook Pro. I remapped all of the shortcuts that I use all the time, put them on the left side so I can only use this hand. And then with the other hand, I can use the cursor or my mouse. In almost every edit that I do, there's always moments where I need to add a lower third or a text animation or another type of effect. And instead of breaking up my editing process, what I do is I create markers. I put a marker on the timeline where I need to insert something and then if you're in Premiere Pro, I hold Alt or Option. If you're on a Mac, I drag the marker out, I double click on it, and then I write my title. This way it becomes sort of like a post-it note, so it's really easy to see when you need to add what. Here's a little bonus tip color code your footage. Sometimes you have a clip that you need to reshoot or you have a clip and you're not entirely sure if you want to keep it in. Give it a color. This way it is really easy to recognize those clips on your timeline. You don't have to scrub through and try to find that one clip. It's super easy to see and it will save you a lot of time editing. My third tip is to make presets of everything you use more than a few times. There is literally no reason to rebuild a title animation or a color grade or a bunch of effects that you use together all the the time to build that from scratch every time. If you're using Premiere Pro, you can easily create a preset by selecting the effects that you want in that preset, then right click on it and then click on create preset. If you use a particular color grade all the time, you can turn that into a preset, but you can also turn that into a LUT. And a LUT is basically a video filter. There's one thing to keep in mind though, when it comes to using LUTs or making your own LUTs, is that after you made your LUT, you cannot change the values inside of them. So you need to keep that in mind. And if you don't wanna spend any time building this stuff and making this stuff, you can buy them. And that also brings me to my next tip, which is using templates. Again, if you don't want to spend the time or you don't have the time, or you simply do not have the skills to create your own lower thirds and title animations, download them. To be honest, everything that you've seen in this video so far, all the lower thirds and animations, I didn't make them. I just downloaded them. I got them from a website called Envado Elements. They offer tons and tons of video transitions, intros, lower thirds, title animations, anything you're looking for, they probably have on that website. It is so easy. It is such a quick way to really make your videos look professional without spending any time on it. And if you don't have the skills, no one needs to know. So what you can do is you can either download them from Envado Elements, which is a subscription-based service, or you can just buy a single pack of transitions or title animations animations or lower thirds on Envato market. And like I said, I didn't make any of the animations. I couldn't be bothered to make my own lower thirds. So I just went onto their website. I picked one that I liked. I downloaded it, imported it into Premiere Pro, dropped it on my timeline. And voila, I highly recommend you to check it out. Links are in the description. And Vado, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Last but not least, use adjustment layers. Using adjustment layers will cut your editing time in half, trust me. And if you don't know what an adjustment layer is, it's basically a transparent layer to which you can add effects and color grades and LUTs, for example. And as long as it covers all of the clips, it will be applied to all of the clips below that. So simply create an adjustment layer, drop it to the timeline, stretch it all the way out so it covers all of the clips that you want it to cover, and then add your LUT and you're good to go. Using a LUT is not as straightforward as you may think though. So if if you want to learn how to use it correctly, then make sure that you watch this video right here where I show you how to do that or watch this video that YouTube thinks is best for you.